Daniela Carusi. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital, and I'm the director for the program for surgical obstetrics and the abnormal placentation program. We take care of quite a few patients who are expected to have complicated cesarean sections or who are at risk for hemorrhage at the time of delivery, and that includes patients with abnormal placentation or placenta accreta. Placenta accreta is an uncommon situation in which the placenta is too deeply attached inside the uterus. The placenta is the organ inside the uterus that sits with the baby and that supplies the baby with nutrients and oxygen and fluids during the pregnancy. In a normal pregnancy, the placenta will be sitting relatively high in the uterus and is attached to the lining of the uterus, which can easily separate when it's time for the woman to deliver. With placenta accreta, the placenta is attached a little bit too deeply, so instead of just sitting in the lining of the uterus, the placental cells have grown a little deeper and attached to the muscular part of the uterus. So this is an illustration of a uterus with a baby and a placenta and shows the relationship of the placenta to the rest of the mother's anatomy. And here you can see the placenta is pointed out, which is attached in a normal place within the uterus, and it's above the level of the cervix and the bladder. And in this particular patient, there's been a prior cesarean section, and as you can see, the cesarean section scar is sitting right in front of the bladder, and the scar on the uterus from her prior cesarean section is sitting right behind the bladder. The placenta itself is sitting above this level, and in this case of a placenta accreta, instead of being just attached to the lining of the uterus, the placenta is attached a little bit more deeply, so it's actually attached to the muscular part of the uterus, which makes it very difficult for the placenta to detach at the time of delivery. The second picture shows what's called a placenta previa. So in this situation, the placenta is actually sitting over the cervix and directly behind the bladder, and in this patient's case, directly behind her prior cesarean section scar. This is obviously a little bit more complicated because we have to work around the C-section scar in the bladder in order to deliver the placenta. And if it's a placenta accreta, the placenta is actually growing into the cesarean section scar. So when we do this patient's delivery, it's particularly important to deliver the baby above the level of the placenta in order to avoid disrupting that placenta and that placenta accreta. The third picture shows another placenta previa, but in this situation, the placenta has grown more deeply into the uterus. When the placenta grows actually into the muscular part of the uterus or invades the muscle of the uterus, that's called a placenta increta. And when the placenta grows all the way through the muscular part of the uterus, it's called a placenta percreta. And in this situation, you can see that the placenta is actually bulging into the back of the bladder, and the placental tissue might actually start growing into the back of the bladder, making this patient's surgery even particularly more complicated. Fortunately, placenta accreta is a very uncommon condition, and unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to know exactly what the incidence is of placenta accreta. It's a hard condition to track currently. It probably occurs in about one out of every 500 to one out of every 1,000 deliveries in the United States and in the developed world. Placenta accreta tends to happen in patients who've had some kind of damage to the lining of their uterus, allowing the placenta to attach more deeply than that lining. Either patients who have prior cesarean sections, and especially if they've had multiple cesarean sections, or in patients who have a placenta previa or a placenta sitting low in the uterus. And it particularly will occur when those two conditions come together. So women who've had prior cesarean sections and now they have a low placenta. It can occur in other situations, usually in women who've had other types of surgery on their uterus, such as having fibroids removed or having surgical repairs on their uterus or in women who are older, and, and older is relative, and it means over 35 or over 40, um, or in patients who undergo in vitro fertilization in order to become pregnant, who also seem to be at slightly increased risk of having an accreta. Placenta accreta is obviously an overwhelming diagnosis, 
Patients who are diagnosed with this condition have never heard of it before, and many of them have never even imagined that something that severe can occur during pregnancy. And oftentimes they're diagnosed with a doctor who has very little experience taking care of placenta accreta. I think the most important advice is to seek care from a center and from providers who have a lot of experience taking care of placenta accreta and feel very comfortable doing so. Um, it's obviously overwhelming for a patient and for her family to go into a delivery knowing that there's a risk of major hemorrhaging and major surgery. And it's important to work with providers who feel that they're in control of that situation and who feel comfortable that they know how to keep a patient feeling safe. It's important for you to know that if you're getting care in the right facility with doctors who take care of placenta accreta on a regular basis, if your delivery can be planned, if your care can be well supervised, that you can deliver in a safe environment and that you can come through your delivery with a healthy mother and a healthy baby. Mm -hmm.